what's up? This is Steve Cardenas, aka Rocky the Red Power Ranger, and Jeff Brazo, Trent Fernandez Mercer from Battle Thunder, and you are watching Team Venom Media. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 15 of the Team Venom's Power Ranger Podcast. Uh, <laughs> on this week's episode, we're going to be talking about the, the future of the franchise because, well, we don't really know anything about it. So it's going to be a whole speculation episode. So, firstly, Paul, what do you want to see next from the Power Rangers franchise? Oh, I mean, it's... All speculation here at best. I mean, honestly, I have no idea because you don't know where they're going. You don't know whether they're going to stick around, whether they'll start up and get booted. Yeah. I mean, it's, I don't know. I, I yeah, <laughs> I really don't know. It, I guess if there's news that comes up, then maybe we could be like, all right, maybe they'll go this way, and then yeah. they'll throw us a curveball and go this way. I don't know. What would you like to see? I don't know. And thank you all for watching. This. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, in all seriousness, yeah. <laughs> that there's a few things that I wouldn't mind seeing. <laughs> so, I, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not even... <laughs> Both of us got nothing. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> but I mean, it's not really. <laughs> um, what, what, one, one of the things that I wouldn't mind seeing is one of the things that have been rumored for a while was that we're going to carry on by way of doing like some form of animated series. I think if they are going to do that. And they want to carry on the Mighty Morphin brand because that's obviously the most popular series and it's the one that sells the most toys already for Hasbro. Then I think they don't really need to look any further than the Boom Studios for the Boom Studios comics for inspiration. I mean, imagine if they did an animated story arc just of the whole rise of Draken. That'd be awesome. That would be really cool. But I mean, if you think about it, though, there's been so many over and over rehashes of Mighty Morphin. Why not go into Zeo or in space? Skip Turbo. Please yeah, I mean, God, skip Turbo. <laughs> well, they could always do the thing of doing a 25th anniversary special for in space. Very true. That that's what where we're at at the moment, the 25th anniversary. So uh, I won't mind seeing that. I'm pretty sure um, friends of the show, Justin Nemo and Chris Kamen Lee, would be up for going back to it. As far as I'm aware. <laughs> That'd be great. It'd be oh. weird to see Andros with a mohawk, but you know. Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I think the animated series could could work really well, or they could do a series of standalone animated movies, like how the DC animated films exist and are better than the live action films and stuff. They could do something like that, and they could do I don't know. Off the top of my head, there's like Soul of the Dragon, Psychopath those sorts of things that they could go with. Um, that's just purely on that, like, you know, speculating on on the animated side of things. But I think there's a lot more they could do. And, yeah, it just it just depends on on what, they, what sort of target audience they want to go for. If they want to target children who historically have been the target audience for Power Rangers since its inception, or if they're going to be target, aiming towards the older collectors and people that are very nostalgic for the original series like ourselves so because there is a lot of- i mean if you think about it, you, you kind of touched on it a couple minutes ago the dc animated series that's actually geared more towards adults if you i don't yeah. know if you watch justice league war yes it's also the latest one which was really good you know they're saying shit and ass and hell and all that stuff in there so so you, you want to see Adam just say I'm a fucking frog? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. God damn it! I'm I mean, a hey, we, frog. we had all these little teeny bopper episodes. Oh yes, you know, here's your good moral. No, no, no. 
Come on. Bring bring it back to 2023. We're 40 yeah. years old. Come on. Let's yeah. We've already had the kids stuff. Give us our stuff. Indeed. I, I, mean, I wouldn't say go as extreme as that one with Katie Sackoff and um James Vanderbeek. I wouldn't go that deep. No. Just when, Which, when it comes to Zach good, and he's just got a got a whole host of bitches with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> but yeah, I that, that was yeah, going to the extreme, as you said. Um but I in terms of the um the marketing thing for, for toys and action figures and stuff. I know obviously there's Hasbro sell quite a lot of kids' toys, but they also sell a lot that's aimed purely at collectors. So I'll use Marvel Legends as an example. For the Marvel figures, you've got like the cheap plasticky ones that are aimed for kids, and then they do the Marvel Legends line for adults and comic book fans that are really accurate. And I think if they were to do an adult an adult focused series, then that would just open up loads more opportunities merch wise. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you look at it, Hasbro with Lightning Collection. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's on a break at the moment. Collectors, isn't it? yeah, go figure. I know, yeah, but it's like geared towards kids, but a collectors too. So it's kind of like that mid tier. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've been brilliant for me. I've I've been lazy. I've been collecting them via my own own son. <laughs> they've been his presents, but they're there and in the house. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, nice. I don't think my kids touch mine. <laughs> Fair enough. Nope. They've got their own. Uh, Just because, well, I'm too anal about my stuff. But anywho, but I mean, I, you're right. I think the best way for them to go would probably be Boom Studios. Yeah, you got. You're not restricted by what a stunt person can do or what a studio can do. You can go wherever, whenever. So. That would open it up a lot more. Yeah. You're probably bring in a new fan base too. But yeah, there's yeah. Comic pe- there's comic book people that don't like the show. Yeah. And I mean, they could always, depending on the animation style that they go for, there's loads of people that just only watch anime in terms of the in, ter- in terms of the stuff that they like to view on TV. If they did a Power Rangers anime series, I bet that'd be a right hit. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they readapted Soul of the Dragon, could you or could you not hear Clint Eastwood voice mm. older Tommy? Definitely, yeah, yeah. That, that that would work really well. And he's still around, so they should they should be able to get out. Right, they should get him. Hasbro, if you're watching, Clint Eastwood for an old Tommy. <laughs> yeah. Now you know. Uh, I got I got fifty cents I could throw into it. Okay. <laughs> there we go crowdfunding at its best speaking <laughs> of crowdfunding though, that reminds me one of the cool things that I've seen recently is uh, Austin St. John's worked on a comic book series called Redemption where it's um, like a reboot of his character from Power Rangers but not at the same time I think it's like a, a version of uh, like Jason's version of Soul, Soul of the Dragon I think from what I've seen but it's obviously renaming characters due to copyright and whatnot. what are your thoughts on that I think it's long overdue. I yeah. think, you know, Tommy always got all the press. And, you know, rightfully so. He toted that banner for 27 years, 28 years, something like that. Yeah. But he Austin doesn't get his flowers, per se. Because if it wasn't for his lead, I don't think Power Rangers would be where it is. Yeah. No, he, he was that relatable, you know. He wasn't the jock, but he would. He was like that in between character that, you know, the tough guys gravitated towards. The girls wanted to be what. So yeah, he, he really fit that role perfect. I would like to see. Now, is it from, per se, after they went to the peace conference or after Zio or. Do we not I'm know? Not sure. I, I'm not sure. I have um, I have ordered the first one, but until it, I'm, I'm going into it completely blind. So uh, when it arrives, I'm more than likely just do a video 
<laughs> you be like, here you go, spoilers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm I'm not sure as the for the whole concept just yet. But I am looking forward to reading it. I know that he was bringing it up on uh, Fan Word. You know the whole subscription thing, which I absolutely freaking love. Yeah, and he wouldn't go into too many details on it, so I'll I'll pick it up. There's a backing level where if you if you put a certain amount in, they thank you for it inside the inside one of the issues of the comics. Nice. Mm. So, uh, hoping that I can get, <laughs> get the team Venom. Look. <laughs> Special thanks to Team Venom Media. <laughs> There you go. Well, I'm going for it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I mean, one of the things that we haven't discussed is um, they could call it, they could just carry on from once and always. Just use the same cast from that. They got them all involved for it. And obviously David Joss had a good time and came back for Cosmic Fury. And they've shown that the Mighty Morphin teams around. They could still do that as, a, as another series, for all we know. Well, I do know there is a... Uh, petition out there. I don't know if there's a GoFundMe started yet or not, but people really want the uh, the what is the quantum continuum? Yeah, David Joss script. script. Yeah. yeah, they want that put into production, which would be pretty cool. And to be fair, um, I mean, I've, I've read the first episode. Of it. it seems very good. Um, I haven't had a chance to actually sit down with it. You know, you kind of skim over the first page or two, but yeah, it's interesting. I mean, one of the things we floated around around was the idea of potentially doing a read through of it on this very podcast. So I reckon that could be something that we do as a future episode. It could be could be good. Could work well. Yeah, yeah. sounds good to me. Okay, well, I think we've pretty much said what we'd like to do, and. Uh, for the benefit of the viewers, there was a couple of people that were we were expecting to join us on this, so that's why our opinions aren't quite as prevalent. <laughs> and um, we'll, we'll wrap this up because I think we've pretty much said all, all that the pair of us were, were planning on saying. Um, and then hopefully next time we're on here, we should have a couple of new guys to TVM um, who, yeah, so we were expecting them tonight and they didn't join us. Obviously, we know Juliet was otherwise engaged already, um, but he'll be back on future episodes. And then, yeah, we had a... What was the new guy's name? Nick, wasn't it, that we were expecting? Yeah, on? Nick, yeah, so, he was having technical difficulties today. Yeah, so, uh, Nick, if, if you're watching, we look forward to getting you on in the future. And uh, everyone else, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're listening to and it on Spotify... Comment us what you want to see. Yeah. That too. Don't forget to comment. It's on the wrong side of the screen. And uh, if you listen on Spotify, then please check out our YouTube channel. The channel is under the name Team Venom Media. We've got all sorts of stuff on there. Lots of Power Ranger coverage, lots of wrestling coverage, lots of pop culture coverage. Yeah, just loads. Just, yeah, hit us up. And anyway, thank you very much. <laughs>